What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome to another video. So slightly different angle for you guys today. That is because we are on the desktop because we are doing some more sports photography critiques of your images. And I thought that we would do it on the desktop today rather than the laptop, mainly because it's easier for me to record the audio all in one hit. So you guys who make videos will know what I'm talking about. So we're over here on the desktop, gonna be an awesome video, let's go. So yeah, another critique of your images. I've had loads of requests to do more of these. I'm gonna keep on doing them. They're probably only gonna be every like few weeks, right? So so please do bear with me. Uh, those of you who've sent your images in, I, look, I can't get to everyone's, but I'm trying to get to as many as I can. We're knocking through another like 10 or 12 today. Um, and keep on sending them. If you want your image to be included in one of the critique videos, you need to send it to this email address right here, which I'm putting on the bottom of the screen. RSP edit my shot. It's an old email address, we're not editing the shots, we're critiquing the shots. Just a reminder, if you do send a photo to that email address, it needs to be one photo per email, it needs to be a JPEG photo, no raw photos please, and they need to be attached to the email as an attachment. I've had a few people send me like download links and stuff like that. I trust you guys, but just for virus protection and stuff, I'm not gonna be using those, I'm only gonna be using attachments onto emails. Um, send them in as, you know, as many as you want to. You can send five, six emails with different photos on if you want to, but chances are, well not chances, I, I would only choose one of your photos um, for, for a video. So so probably just pick your favorite ones and send those. It'd be better for you guys and probably more chance that you're gonna be included. If you guys are enjoying this critique series and you want me to carry it on, then please take a second, hit that like button. The likes on these critique videos are for me kind of the measure of how successful they're gonna be and whether or not we'll keep on doing them. So the more likes on this video, the more chances are that there will be a fourth episode of the critique series. Especially if you sent a shot which we haven't covered yet, then you make sure you hit that like button because then I'm more likely to carry on and keep on doing the videos. All of you guys who haven't subscribed, which is like 60% of the viewers of my channel, 60%. So for every 10 people, six of you guys aren't subscribing to my channel. You must be crazy or something. There's no explanation. No, I'm joking. Please do think about subscribing if you haven't already. It's really appreciated and helps my channel to grow, which in this kind of time and lockdown, I haven't got much else to do. So the more the channel grows, the better it is for me. So as per normal, we're about to jump into the computer and look at these images. Obviously, look, this is just my view, right? Not necessarily, you know, an expert's opinion. Other people might differ opinion to me. This is just my view. So look, I'm sure no one's going to be offended. Feel free to comment below if you have any other opinions about any of the photos we show or perhaps any tips um, and positive criticism by that I mean constructive um, that you might think will help somebody improve one of these photos then comment it below no negativity you don't want to see anything like hey that image is rubbish because look your comment will just get deleted right um, and, and you don't want something like that okay so let's go let's jump straight into these images and see what we have got coming up now, I believe this first image is from Will. So, Will, we have got some ladies football. Awesome, man. Nice photo. Okay, so what's my thoughts on this? Uh, I would have straightened it slightly. This fence in the background kind of gives you the opinion, uh, the almost the view that the image is on a bit of a slope. But then the trouble is you've also got the uprights from this dugout, which are a bit of a slope as well. So, it's a tricky one to straighten because your background's a bit busy. Probably what I would have done is I would have straightened it upright using these posts that means the fence would be at a bit of an angle but if these posts everything was straight it would at least give that illusion that the image is straight the actual photo is nice it would be nice if this um, player on the right if she was facing the camera so we could see both faces you've got the balls in which is cool uh, you have chopped off legs but when it's like this I don't mind so much because the action is the top half of this image if you had it any lower it would look weird but where you've got it just above the knee like that that's quite a nice crop I'm cool with that um, the image looks a little bit noisy which is weird because it looks like you shot this in the middle of the day so I wouldn't have thought you would have had to have had your ISO level too high maybe you've over sharpened the image it might be that you've sharpened it a bit too much which kind of gives that illusion of noise um, but nice image man I like it certainly the action you can see the pink moment right and the balls in the shot which is um, which is good cool right what else have we got thank you Will for including it the next shot is from Stanislav let's have a look 
So, Stanislav, rugby. Nice, man. Cool. Right, first thing about this, there's a nice clean background, which really works. Decent shot. I love the way this guy is turning kind of towards us with his body opened up like that. Really shows the action. Uh, shame we can't see this guy's face, but... Uh, God, it would have been difficult, right? I guess if you were slightly more face on to this moment, you might have had a chance, but then this guy would have been turned and probably his face would have been blocked by the ball. So difficult shot overall the colors are nice it's clean i can tell you've used a fast shutter speed on this because you've even got these like flicks of grass and stuff are all frozen nice image man yeah i've got to say mostly like that you can see you've used a nice shallow depth of field so the background is really crushed even some of the foreground here at the bottom of the image actually um if i was being really critical it looks like you could have straightened it slightly the left hand side of this horizon looks a bit higher than the right hand side so maybe slightly tweaked the crop's pretty decent, though. I like that image. Yeah, nice, Stanislav. I like that, man. Cool. Right, what have we got next? Okay, so next up, we've got an image from Sean. Sean, I think this is Aussie Rules Football, right? I remember you commenting on one of my videos um, about sending one of these. Nice image, man. I like this. Um, I don't know if this is maybe your kids or, or a kid's game that one of your kids was involved with or something, but nice image, man. So the moment's cool, right? God, this poor kid here looks like he's getting smacked in the face by that by that boot. Um, I'm guessing this guy, this kid on the left has just kicked it and this kid on the right has tried to stop him, maybe. Um, but, oh, dear, I hope he didn't get hurt because it looks like he's about to get that boot right in the face. So, what's my observations here? Um, it looks like maybe you had a slightly show, uh, slow shutter speed. I don't think it's necessarily that it's out of focus, because this guy on the right is, is in focus. Unless maybe you had a really shallow depth of field in this guy. No, because you can see a bit of movement in the ball as well. So, I think maybe a shutter speed could have been a little bit higher on this. It's either that or you've slightly missed the focus. Because this guy on the left is a little bit blurry, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I maybe would have gone slightly wider so you could get their legs in the shot. Um, because I think with this kind of moment, especially with the kick, a little bit of movement and to better get the full bodies in the shot would have been cool. Um, but I like the moment, man. That's that's like see the way I look at it. It's almost funny, right? But look, hopefully a kid didn't get hurt. Um, you certainly don't want that. But those kind of images um, are always cool when they show a moment like that. That's nice. Cheers, Sean. That's good, man. I like it. Right, let's see what we've got next. Okay, this one is from Owen. So Owen Lacrosse, right? Now, um, I like this man. Lacrosse in the States, I think, is very different from what we would have as lacrosse here. I don't think we use quite the same level of, like, helmets and pads and stuff. I'm guessing it's a bit less of a contact sport maybe here in the UK. Um, I like the image though, man. So the action is, is cool. Looks like a peak moment. This guy looks like he's turning. I can see he's got the ball here. Um, a few bits. So it needs to be straightened. So you, your horizon is a bit bit of a, an awkward angle in the background here. I don't know how wide you shot this or if you've cropped it. You've cropped the action really nice. Like it's really in tight on the action, which is great. But then this guy in the background, you've got his head chopped off, which is always a bit of a shame. Perhaps if it was slightly wider and this guy's head was in the image, it would have looked a little bit cleaner. And if the horizon was straight. The actual action is good. It looks like it's sharp. It looks like your shutter speed was high. There's nothing blurry. There's no movement in the photo, which is really great. I like that moment, man. Nice photo. And it's always cool for me to see some photos of something a little bit different um, with something like lacrosse um, that, that I, well, I have shot lacrosse before, but not much. So it's always good to see something different. Nice one. Right, cheers, Owen. Next up, we've got an image from Matthew. Right, Matthew, let's have a look. Basketball, and more specifically, the BBL, which I, I like and I shoot a lot, man. Nice. So this is Leicester against Sheffield, right? Um, yeah, that's Mike Tuck. So yeah, that's Sheffield. Um, a nice image, man. The moment's decent. Uh, I like it. The kind of got the defender. The fact you got these guys in the background, like jostling for position, I like as well. The fact the background is darker in the top half, uh, half up here makes it pretty clean. Um, what would I say? It needs to be straightened slightly. You maybe could use the backboard here to straighten the image, just to to kind of bring it slightly more upright. It's a shame that the attacking player isn't kind of coming a bit more towards us, like so we can see his face. Um, that's always big for me to better see faces. Uh, look, like I always talk about having the balls, the face in the picture. There's lots of action in lots of people's faces. It's just a shame that we don't have his face in the image um, there. But, you know, look, that would have been hard to achieve. I guess if you're on the other side of the basket, maybe, and you could have had his face with then the defender. 
But basketball's so hard, right? You never know where the action's going to be. The angle you've shot this on is one of my main shooting locations for basketball, so I totally, um, totally appreciate why you chose this out there. Nice, clean image. I know this is going to be shot in low light, because whichever BBL arena this was in, I'm guessing this was Leicester. Leicester actually has better light, but... Um, none of them have amazing light, so I know that was tough. You probably were um, were doing well to get your shutter speed as high as you have. Can't see any movement in the photo, which is always one of the biggest things with basketball. Nice image, man, and I love a bit of BBL, so well done. Cheers, Matthew. Right, next up, we've got a photo from Luke. Luke, let's have a look. Okay, Luke. Wow. Okay, first thing I'm going to say is I know exactly which moment this is. Now, Luke did actually tell me in the email, but I, I could have told you what it was anyway. This is Trayvon Wright for the Solent Kestrels, um, putting them into overtime by getting a last second dunk uh, against Newcastle Eagles. So, man, look, what a photo, right? Because it's such a big moment. I'm not really going to say anything bad about this photo, man, because, look, it's, it's great, right? It captures the moment. Um, it tells you, uh, you kind of the story, and it's such a peak moment, right? Like, if someone was writing a back page news article about this moment, this is the kind of picture that would be included in that. If I was being real critical, which I which I don't really want to be because I love this image, but if I was, I maybe would have cropped it slightly wide around the top just to give me a little bit more room up the top here. Maybe just like, a you know, the bottom third of the backboard or something. Um, your white balance looks slightly off. There's a little bit of green kind of tinge across here. Now, I can tell you right now where that has come from is the floor. The floor is casting that green tinge across everything, which is really hard to do. But you can still play around a bit with that in post. Um, you kind of look at the um, the number and the lettering on the back of Getty's jersey here. You could kind of tweak your white balance to get that slightly more white and a little bit less green. But overall, Luke, man, Luke, I love that image. That's that's really cool. Um, so, so look, if I just saw that image as it was, I would say it's a great image, man. Nice one. Well done. I really like that. Right. Who have we got next? Let's go. Okay, we've got an image from John. Um, John, I know you've been a fan of the channel for a long time. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. Uh, nice celebration, man. I love this. The guy coming over the top like that. Now, first observation here is I bet this was tough for you to shoot because this looks like it was done in bad lighting, which is why it's a little bit grainy, right? You can see your ISO level was obviously quite high in this image. Um, nice. Right, what would I do? I would straighten it first. So your horizon in the background here needs to be straight. If you could have done, I don't know how tight this was cropped, but it'd be nice if there was a little bit more space on the right-hand side of the image because the action or the celebration is coming like in this direction across to the right. And and I always talk about um, trying to give uh, people somewhere to go. So when a celebration is going in that direction, I want a little bit more space there. I think if you'd had that, it would have been good because it kind of would show like where he was celebrating towards. Um, it's a shame this guy's face is dark. Maybe you could have upped your shadows or tried to get a little bit more detail out of the face up here. But at the same time, it makes it quite dramatic. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. The moment itself is awesome. A couple little tweaks like straightening it, a little bit of shadows, stuff like that. Um, I doubt you could have done too much more about the noise. It looks like you've tried to manage that about as well as you could have done in post. Um, nice, man. I like it. Good moment, right? I bet that was a, um, I bet that was a big moment. I bet that was a big goal. I like it. Right, what we got next? Okay, next up we've got an image from Frank. Frank, um, whoa, something totally different here, man. What's this, can canoeing, I guess this would be? Or, or, or like, um, a kayak or something? I love it, man. Well, good look. First thing is I love all this movement in the water. Like, look how cool that looks. I'm guessing you would have had to have a real high shutter speed to get all this frozen like that, which is really, really cool. Um, what would I say about this? It's hard, right? Because I don't know this sport at all. But um, a couple of observations. I would have, same as I talked about in the last image, it would have been nice to see a bit more space over in this direction on the right because that's where the guy is going. Maybe if his helmet was almost the middle of the shot and we had a bit more space up the top and to the right so we can really feel where he's moving to, that would have been cool. It's a shame we can't see his face. I I mean, it must be a nightmare trying to photograph this to capture people's faces because, you know, where where is his face? It's in there in the water somewhere, right? So that would be really hard. But it would be good if we could see his face just to get a bit more context about, like, who it is, um, stuff like that. But I love, I love the movement in this, and I love the way all the water is frozen. I like that. Cheers, Frank. Nice one. 
Cool, right. Next up, we've got an image from Chris. Chris, let's have a look. Okay, Chris, football. Nice. Uh, right, what we've got going on here, man? I like this. Decent shot. It's crisp, it's in focus, fast shutter speed, I can't see any movement. We've got everyone's faces, which I talk about a lot, right? Good faces, the horizon looks like it's straight, which I like. I think we've talked about that on almost every image so far today. So the fact you've got a straight horizon makes me celebrate straight horizons. And thank you very much, well done. Uh, what do I think? Maybe this guy in the background on the left, it would have been nice if the crop included all of him so you didn't have him being chopped off halfway through. You could crop it in closer so he was barely there, but then this guy's fingers would be skimming the edge of the image and you wouldn't have the movement on the left-hand side, which I quite like. I like the fact you haven't tried to crop any of this guy out on the right-hand side, even though he's slightly out of focus because he's in the background. It's good that you've got all of him in the image. I like that. Nice shot, man. I got the colours are good. The noise is, looks like it's been managed pretty well. It, it's maybe slightly noisy, which um, in the face here maybe, which is a bit of a surprise because again, this looks like it was in the middle of the day. It might be that you've over sharpened it slightly possibly. Um, a couple of examples of that today, we've over sharpened images just a little bit too much and it brings out some of the grain, um, which we shouldn't need to have if it's in the middle of the day. But I love this image, Chris, I like that image. Thank you very much. Let's get on to the last image for today and that is from Cameron. Cameron, let's take a look. Nice. Wow, cool, okay. Um, cool, man, what we got going on here? Okay, this is nice, mountain biking, right? So, I love the movement you've got in this. I, I'm guessing you've done that deliberately because it looks like you've panned um, to get some movement in the trees. I'm guessing he's jumping o over you or like past you. Uh, it looks like a brave place to be, man. But great, great shot. Um, I love the fact you've got all the focus nicely here on the body and the face with the movement coming through the image, which is cool. It re assume it, uh, comment, comment, Cameron, let us know. Did you pan this? I'm, I'm guessing you did. And if you did, what was your shutter speed? I'd be interested to know. I really like it though. I love the movement in the tree. This is the kind of thing you see from like, you know, Red Bull events and, and stuff like that. Now... The flare coming from the sun up here, um, it's a funny one, right? Because it adds a lot to the image. The way you've got these like bursts coming across him and this little flare down here, I actually like that. It adds to the image. The only thing is, is that it's a little bit bright and blown out just to the left of him. Perhaps if you'd managed to capture the frame before, maybe he'd have been blocking some of this and you might have had those kind of bursts coming from behind him, which I imagine would look pretty cool if you had managed to capture that. But God, a, a panning image like this, that would be so hard to achieve, right? You'd be doing really well. But overall, the, the crop, the movement, um, the way you've panned, I, I like so much about this image. Um, just those couple of things maybe could could tweak it slightly. Nice man, I like that camera. Something different, which is which I really like in these kind of videos. It's cool to see something different in your photos. Okay, and that's about it, guys. Some really awesome photos. Thank you so much for everybody who submitted them. Keep on sending them, guys. Feel free. And if the videos um, are, are well received and this series seems popular, then I'm going to keep on doing them. We're doing extra critiques over in the Facebook group as well. Got one of those coming next week, uh, which actually I don't think I've even announced to the guys yet. So if they're watching this video, you just heard about it now. We're going to be doing another critique for them in the Facebook group. Going to keep on doing these. Pro probably, I don't know, maybe we'll make this like a monthly series, perhaps a little bit more often at the moment because we're knocking out like three videos a week, which is, which is really cool. I think that's about it for today. If you did enjoy the video, please do hit the like button. If your image was included, then definitely hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Keep sending your photos. Guys, thank you very much. I will see you. I will see you on the next video.